Hello, and today I'm going to be talking about and reviewing the GameCube. Now the GameCube is a wired console, wired controllers, and the first major disc-based console from Nintendo, not counting uh, the PlayStation add-on for the Super Nintendo that never came out, or not counting uh, the N64 disc thing that went under the uh, uh, N64, or the Famicom disc system, but that used floppy disk. So, looking at the console itself, it used tiny disks. It dis its disks were small. Ah, got reset, ah, open, and power. Now I grew up with this system, and it was my first system ever. Now it's it's widely referred to. Also, it has the power. It has that power. Well, it does have the power. The Nintendo power. It has an easy to replace power supply, even though it's kind of hard to see. It has the same uh, AV cable as the N64, which is very simple. I think it also has the same one as the Super Nintendo. Four controller ports and does use memory cards. This thing eats up memory cards. Now, if you have a GameCube, you might be wondering. Where are these pieces uh, on the bottom? I wondered for the longest time until I watched Lord Carnage's video of it. Um, that is actually for the GameCube Game Boy player. You put this thing on the bottom. I don't know why you need so many different pieces. Three different pieces to cover this all up. But the Game Boy player would play your Game Boy games on the television. Cool. Um, and there were a lot of things that played your Game Boy games on the television, such as the Super Game Boy for the Super Nintendo, the Game Boy Player for this, and, uh, the, another thing that went on the N64 controller that would play your Game Boy games on the television. So, it was a very interesting, um, I, this one, I think, plays Super... Advanced games, uh, Game Boy Advanced. Wait, did I put something on there? I'm trying to figure out this monstrosity. There we go. Um, the the thing that goes on the bottom of that that plays Game Boy games can play advanced games and everything past. I think so can the N64 controller one, but the Super Game Boy, I think it can only play up to Game Boy Color games. So, the GameCube is widely referred to as the Purple Lunchbox, because I believe the first model, or one of the more popular models, was a purple, and uh, it is, I mean, look how, this looks for, like, young kids, got a handle, it's a box, got four controller ports. I remember daycares used to have this as common as people would have Wii's. You all know how popular Wii's are. So, they also had in many different colors, such as black, purple, and silver. Now, a very interesting controller, I will be taking a, a closer look at it, has two trigger buttons, a Z button. Very strange, I've only heard you use it in Zelda. Uh, two kind of hanging things. They really conserved on plastic because they didn't put plastic right up here. Um, A, B. See, when you're feeling this and not looking at it, you can better tell because you just feel the size of the buttons. Ugh, Y and X. It, it's really strange. And C. The, instead of having it four, going four different directions, they just made a whole analog joystick. Start slash pause. Can you read that? Start slash pause. <laughs> so, I don't think there were any different aftermarket controllers. There was one, the Wavebird, which is wireless, but uh, it, it's the same thing, just they do put plastic, like up in here, 
and all around that and make it wider because it's uh, wireless. But the best thing about this is four controller ports. Now, I don't think this did that well. I mean, I think it did okay, but it certainly didn't do as good as the Wii or the uh, Super Nintendo or the NES. It was like the uh, it was like the N64. It didn't do that well. It made a small amount of money, but they didn't lose any money on it. Um, yeah, so the system is popular somewhat. You can uh, even see that there, there is a fan in there. It says Nintendo GameCube right on it. So I really like the system. It, it's the system I grew up with, but I, I don't have it hooked up because uh, if you know, the Wii and the Wii U is backwards compatible. Because everything with Nintendo is backwards compatible, except for its cartridges systems. I really wish my N64 could play Super Nintendo games, but it can't. And that's okay. So, my review of the GameCube is that I wouldn't buy it. Well, here's what I have to say about it. Is that if you want to play GameCube games, you can spend a little bit more money and get a Wii and uh, be able to play Wii games, motion controls. But re remember, it does have a port for the memory card and the uh, the controllers. So you won't be having to use the terrible Wiimote, Wiimote to play GameCube games. But you will pay a lot less for GameCubes. In 2016, the year it is today, right now, these things go for like 25 bucks dollars so if you don't want Wii games or anything and uh, just just buy one of these because these are dirt cheap and if you're a collector I mean of course get one of these these are dirt cheap I mean seriously I've seen them without controllers but with all the wires for $25 so these things are dirt cheap and I suggest if you are a collector or if you really just don't want Wii games I would suggest getting it so buy a GameCube and don't buy a Dreamcast. So thank you for watching my review of the GameCube. And I hope you like it. And you should definitely look at some of my other reviews. I have a review of the PlayStation 2 and the entire Xbox family. So thank you for watching.